Welcome to Two Minute Fluid Mechanics, helping you learn some fluid mechanics in about two minutes. Why do coffee rings form, not just mocha brew about nothing? Let's join Professor Skeptic's office hours. Dad, why are you here? These are my fluid mechanics office hours. Yeah, but I do got some question about fluid mechanics. Yeah, what is your question? I'll share my screen. When I drink coffee, I always spill some. And when the drops dry, they leave these rings all over. Like these pictures here I done took. Hey, dude, I've seen that too, man. What about you, Ned? Well, I don't drink coffee. It makes me too nervous. Professor Skeptic, what causes this? Those are called coffee rings. I'll share a presentation I recently gave. When a drop of coffee evaporates, it forms a coffee ring, also called a coffee stain. Here are some examples. Why do these rings form? Coffee is a type of colloidal suspension. Microscopic particles are suspended in the water. When the water evaporates, coffee particles are left behind. If evaporation were uniform, no coffee rings would form. But it turns out that the evaporation rate is not uniform due to strong interaction between the liquid and microscopic surface roughness. On the surface, the contact line, or the rim, remains fixed throughout the evaporation process. Near this fixed contact line, liquid molecules can leave more readily, leading to a higher evaporation rate. The evaporation rate is thus fastest near these contact lines. Therefore, liquid and the particles in it must move radially outward to make up for the liquid lost by evaporation at this contact line. As the liquid evaporates, the drop flattens, and the particles collect near the rim. As illustrated in this animation, in the end we have a coffee ring. Here are some time-lapse video clips of coffee rings as they form. You can get rings from other substances besides coffee. We'll call these colloidal rings. For example, salt water. These can be large like on a sidewalk or small on a dish. If you look closely, you can see calcium rings on sink tops and in the bottom of your dishwasher. Here I mixed up some red food dye. You can see the colloidal rings formed by the red food dye drops. A similar thing happens when you wash red raspberries. You can even get colloids from chocolate milk dud. <laughs> get it? Milk dud. Here are some photos from my garage floor. I have no idea what substances these were, but they formed some nice colloidal rings. If you look for them, you can find colloidal rings nearly everywhere. Thanks, Professor Skeptic. That's awesome. Yes, thank you, sir. Is this going to be on the exam, man? Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.